Welcome to the Joyous Kingdom. In today's video, we're going to do a paid brutally honest review on the Mythos Collection by Hector Finance. I hope you've enjoyed the consistent uploads. I try and bring the most, the biggest variety of content that there exists on the interweb. If you've been enjoying it, if you're excited for this video, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. Smash a like on this video. If you give me a like, I promise you, I will give you a like right now. You ready? Three, two, one. Sick. Follow me on Twitter, join the Discord below in the description for all the alpha. As you guys know, the goal of this channel is to instill the knowledge and confidence it's gonna to take to navigate this metaverse on your own one day. So if that sounds good to you. Get your three get your five actually free stocks. Use my Weeble link down below in the description. Free money for you, helps me out directly. We all win. Let's get into this video. For any companies or businesses, brands who want to get in contact with me, just email me at joyjofficial at gmail.com. Let's pop into their Twitter, shall we? We got the Mythos Collection by Hector Finance here. The secret of change is to focus all of your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new by Socrates. Like that. Love that. So they've got 31 tweets. They just launched in March of 2022. They're, t they're TBA as far as when the project will, uh, will dr drop, but... Uh, 31 tweets is not enough. I would love to see a lot more engagements uh, because you got to build a brand. You got to you got to build the the why. Why are people going to want to get into this? Because Hector Finance is like it's a it's a coin, you know. And so there's not exactly like a big following behind any kind of coins really, except for like Cardano maybe, um, and, or Ethereum because of Vitalik and because of Charles Hopkinson. But when you have a coin like this, and then you want to make an NFT project that's based on mythology and uh, and stuff like that, you got to do a little bit more than just whitelist competitions. That's really all I've seen is just whitelist opportunities, whitelist, whitelist, whitelist. And I would just like to see a lot more variety of content. And there's going to be 10,000 NFTs in the collection. They are talking about Miami NFT. This is one of their big things that they've been talking about. They're really excited about, which is cool. They're sponsoring uh, Miami NFT week, which is this. They've got some pretty big notable speakers, including Mark Mark Cuban and Grant Cardone. I don't really know who these people are. Uh, some big web two billionaire type people. And so I'm sure there'll be some kind of alpha that's dropped there. If not for NFTs, definitely just for finance and investing in general. So that's pretty cool that they're, uh, that they're sponsoring them. They're one of the official sponsors for them. And this is Hector Finance, the world's first deflationary rebase token built on the Phantom Network. And I do know that they're working on a game. It's somewhere in their Twitter page. They're working on some kind of game to get the ecosystem, to get something going, you know, so that's definitely something to look forward to. And currently to get on their whitelist, a lot of them is based through their Twitter page. So if you want to get on their whitelist, you're going to want to be active on their Twitter. That's how they're doing a lot of their giveaways. To pay tribute to the Olympic gods, this collection consists of 16 artworks based on Greek mythology. This collection will have a total of 10,000 animated NFTs, and each artwork comes with five rarities. The ancient gods and the creatures in this collection are Zeus, which will have 250 of them, which looks like this. There will be 300 Hades, 350 Poseidons, 900 Heras, 700 Hestias, 600 Demeters, uh, 950 Centaurs, 450 Chimeras, uh, and then you, you, you can read the rest. Uh, I, I can't actually say all of them. I can't pronounce all of them, but I do remember seeing all these words because I was a big fan of Percy Jackson back in the day. I'm sure a lot of you guys have read Percy Jackson here. Each artwork is also five rarities portrayed with five different frames and defined with the percentage of the splitting, which is just like the Gary V book token. If you guys know that project, Gary V's V Friends book token has frames that have different rarities and they also have different names and all these different things that change up the rarity. That's actually really cool. It's a good, it's a good dynamic to have inside of a project, especially one with 10,000 NFTs, which is, quite a, which is quite a lot in this current market, at least. For commons, it's going to be 50% of the each artwork. Uncommon is going to be 25%. Rares at 15%. Epic at 8%. Legendaries at 2%. And for example, if you had the Zeus, there'd be 125 uh, commons, 63 uncommons, 38 rares, and, uh, 19 epics, and 5 legendaries out of 250 total. Now for the mint, the allocation of earnings for the mint will be splitting into three sections, 20% to the treasury, 40% to the Phantom Lottery, and 40% to game development. And as far as the secondary on the Phantom Network, the allocation of earnings from the secondary sales, 20% for app buyback and burn, 30% for the Phantom Lottery, and 50% for the rewards to the tour holders. Now, what is the Phantom Lottery? It's in general, it's a contest with a huge prize pool for our NFT holders. The prize will be distributed every randomly. Every four weeks, the size and number of total prizes will vary depending on the amount of earnings. Each draw consists of six different projects which are based on the Phantom Network. Projects and communities will have the chance to submit proposals to include their projects in these giveaways. We carefully review and entries and put them up to a vote. And this is like a visual example of how they could do it. And this token number six could be your favorite other Phantom project, which they may be voting for. And I popped into their Discord just to check out the organization, see if they had too many channels. I would definitely say they've got a lot of channels here, especially with the with the different countries here, which I, I do understand what they're doing, but I did peek in there and the majority of them only have a few messages every month anyway. And so for, for this kind of thing, I, I would think that maybe closing it down and making some kind of 
Group one may be better. I'm not sure what exactly what the answer is, but when there's too many channels, people tend to just pick the general one anyway. And so that's how it goes down for a lot of NFT projects. And that's just something I picked up over the past few months of being in NFTs, you know? And so they do have a YouTube channel, which is a great sign. You guys know I love that. And they are pretty active here and doing community updates and just being being transparent with what, what the hell's going on. You know what I mean? And so that's good to see. I would love to see a lot more video content as far as the NFT, the mythology, the lore around that. That's where I could see them really, really picking up steam. Um, just because, you know, they've got the coin already. They've got a lot of backing from that and support from that coin. Um, but to get that and turn it into an NFT collection based on mythology is a, it's a beast of its own, you know? And so I would definitely think content around the mythology part is going to be super important. You can post it on TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, all the places. And some big news about Hector Finance coming up is the nearing completion of its cross-chain decentralized exchange DEX uh, in partnership with the Rubik Exchange, which allows users to snap between the tokens on multiple networks on a single click. Now, Hector Finance as a coin, on coin according to CoinMarketCap, they had a really big run-up. So they launched at the end of last year in, in November. They had a little bit of some time here. Then they pumped up, I guess, with that, with that run with everybody else. And they kind of crashed pretty hard since then. And maybe this is just a building phase for them. And Tor is their, their token that they're going to be using. And uh, Hector is going to be their stable coin however tor has been officially audited by their friends at certic certic is one of those one of those companies that people go to typically for audits audits is when they just make sure there's no holes in the smart contract now just because it's not a hole doesn't mean the project can't run away with it but but audit just means that there's no code issues where it's like there's a there's some kind of issue or some kind of exploit in the code that's what this means as an audit for certic for people who don't know and there's a lot of new people who watch my channel and there were no serious vulnerabilities to the best of certic team's knowledge there's a couple of small things that they were i'm sure easily fixed and, and resolved pretty pretty fast but nothing nothing big nothing uh nothing that needs to be reported really the tor stablecoin can only be minted by burning the the hector coin and offers very competitive farming farming profits. In addition, the Hector Finance is working on a variety of sub-projects to map out the entire DeFi spectrum. It includes NFT collection, NFT marketplace, a stable coin, bridging, swapping, farming, launchpad, lending, borrowing protocol, DeFi gaming, education center for people to learn uh, who are new to learn about cryptocurrencies. And the Hector Finance team has over 40 members currently. They have a treasury over $100 million that can be used for investing and developing. And then real quick for the Tor, the Tor token is a stable coin. As HEC, the Hector is the utility token, which is supported by the Tor, acting as a payment token, medium exchange, and low risk yield bearing token. Tor is an ERC20 token, and you can deposit Tor uh, liquidity pool tokens with their DAP in order to receive farming rewards paid in WFTM tokens with an APR between 25 and 60%. And this is Hector Finance's uh, website page. I'm just gonna fly through this real quick since this isn't, this isn't like the NFT page. This is just more about the coin a little bit um, and some information about that. We talk about some of the use cases here. Users can stake the Hector token for rebase rewards. The protocol aims to provide an attractive APY while creating scarcity through buybacks and burns. The Tor stable coin can only be minted by burning the HE, the HEC coin and offers highly competitive farming rewards as we said earlier. And you can buy Hector on SpookySwap, BitMart, Yoshi, Ubrick, uh, Mex, C, Bitru, and just all that you can buy. You can read. <laughs> you can buy it from all these. And these are the different like news channels, news articles that are featured on. Some notable ones like Bloomberg, Cointelegraph, NASDAQ, Investing, Yahoo. All right, y'all. That's going to bring this review to a close. Uh, I would say mainly the content. The content is going to be king here. Making people excited about the mythology part because you already have the token you already got the hard work done there it's going to be about getting content get, about getting people to join the ecosystem of the mythos collection because it's a cool idea it's just you just got to get people in and whitelist opportunities and whitelist giveaways isn't enough that's only going to attract flippers it's not the kind of people you want into a long-term project because it's just you're not attracting the right crowd you know there's a reason i don't make promotional videos and telling people what to buy every other day because i don't want that kind of audience that's kind of my biggest advice there is going to be to say to ramp up the content the marketing in a different way that's not whitelist allocations um and guys that's gonna bring this video to a close i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something if you did smash like in this video i appreciate you guys doing that liking is the currency on the youtube algorithm so i appreciate you guys always doing that subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the content i'm making videos every single day literally every single day multiple times a day sometimes if you're not already following me on twitter if you're not in my discord down below the description you're only hurting yourself all the alpha is dropped there when i can't do it on my youtube channel if you want to get five free stocks all you have to do is sign up and input any amount of dollars using my weeble link down below the description free money for you helps me out directly i appreciate you guys doing that if you want to see more of me right now click on one of these boxes on the other side of me until next time continue on your joyage continue to learn and be grateful you're alive watching this video